Hello and welcome, it's Bushwhacker here with another Stationeers tutorial. On today's video, we're going to be setting up a gas filtration system for our furnace. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. As you can see here, I've set up my furnace just like I did on my other tutorial. So if you need to watch that, I'll put a link for that now. Um, I did add a couple chutes onto it just to make it a little easier to put stuff in and take stuff out. Um, as you can see, we were venting all of our gases out into the atmosphere, which definitely isn't the best case scenario because we can capture these gases and use them um, for ourselves. So for this tutorial, um, there are six different types of gases. So you're going to need six portable tanks. You're going to need six tank connectors. Uh, you're going to need each of the filters. Um, and then six atmospheric kits, some wiring, and also some pipe. So the first thing that we want to do is we'll grab our atmospherics kit and we'll lay this down here. And I'll kind of explain exactly how this works. So we want to build this, build this one right here. So as you can see with this filter, there is a data there's a power, there's a filtration output, and a filtration waste. So the filtration output is whatever you have for your gas filter. So if you have an oxygen gas filter, it will output oxygen on this side. And on this side, filtration waste will be every other gas that is an oxygen. Um, and then obviously back here we have our input, which I will show you our filtration input. So I'll show you how we hook these up. We can take our passive vent and just throw that away. And we need to grab some pipe. We need to place this down. And we'll do a three-way junction here. There we go. And then we want to obviously connect our gas into our out input here. And then our output, we want to circulate that back around so then the rest of our filters can filter it out. So as you can see here, gas is going to fill up this pipe. It's going to come in the input. It's going to go through the filter. What's oxygen? We'll, what, oxygen is what we'll do for the first one. So that will come out here. And then the waste or all the other gases will come out and go into our next filter that we'll place down now. Perfect. Okay, so now we can connect this up with the rest of our pipe network. Okay, now we have all the piping hooked up for our first two. We'll go ahead and connect our tank connectors up. So obviously my white one here is going to be my oxygen. My green one is going to be my nitrogen. It is good to have a coloring system just so then you never mix. Uh, because once you mix, it's really hard to clear that stuff out. So now we can start and hook up our wiring. You want to connect up obviously your power and I'm going to put a <clears throat> junction here there we go I'll put a three way corner here and not to bore you to death I connected all of my wiring up so these guys are almost ready to go the last step is taking our filters so you can take your filter place it inside one of the slots grab your other filter place it in one of the slots now if for some reason you wanted to capture two different gases you could put two different gas filters in the slots and that would allow you to capture both of them but for now we will capture them separately and if we want to mix them together we'll do that a little more precisely than with this so finally we need to take our tanks and connect them up Finally, our nitrogen tank. Oh, 
Okay, and now that we have everything hooked up, we can go ahead and flip them on. And finally, let's uh, throw something in the furnace to filter out. So I just did these two for now, just not to bore you to death, because if you can do two, you can do all six of them. Yeah, but I'll just show you how this works real quick. So we'll throw some oxide into our furnace which will pressurize that up. Our valve is open, so this will start pressurizing up the entire system here. And you can see that our filters are slowly taking out all of the oxygen into this tank and all the nitrogen into this tank. And just to be sure, we can take out our atmospheric analyzer. So let's close down that. So you can see we have 100% O2 in this tank and over here we have 100% N2. We can also look at these pipes here just to confirm it. So you can see that all of the O2 is coming here and that in this entire piping network there's 90% O2 and 10% N2. You are able to hook your tank connectors directly into the filtration unit but I would advise leaving one space. This is going to allow us to upgrade this in the future and make sure that we don't blow anything up. Okay, so I have two built. I'm going to go ahead and build the rest of them real quick. As you can see, I've completed the rest of the system just by copying that same design that I used for the first two. I came in and I spray painted and named everything just to keep them nice and separate. Now we can go ahead and start smelting with the furnace and capturing all the gases that go along with it. So let's start with some gold. So we can just throw 50 gold in here. Close it up. And as you can see, it's building a bit of pressure, so that means that there's some gas coming off of this. So we may be able to look and see what kind of gas. It looks like there's some nitrogen coming off of it, some carbon dioxide, no volatiles, a bit of pollutant. So you can see even before we start smelting, we're already capturing some of the gases that we may not have before. Okay, and now I've manually put in some oxide and some volatiles into the furnace. Um, obviously doing this during the day isn't the best idea because I got uh, mixture of chemicals in the air, but oh well. We can go ahead and fire up the furnace. And you can see we made a bar of gold which will come out the back. But more importantly, once we're all done, we can open this up. And we can see what it gives us. So it looks like we're getting some CO2. We're getting some volatiles back. We're getting more pollutant. And that looks like that's it. We'll probably get some oxygen I guess not but as you can see we're really saving everything that we can and in the future um, I'll show you how to hook up your volatile tank and your oxygen tank and uh, make the fuel mixture to feed directly into the furnace so hopefully this was helpful for you guys obviously there are no real safety measures or anything in place so you really need to monitor it yourself to make sure that you don't explode any pipes or any tanks Well, I guess that's one way to do it. Well, boys and girls, this is why you don't allow volatiles and oxygen to mix in the open atmosphere. Well, I would like to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I will see you again next time. Bushwhacker out.